What's going on guys, Shimon here back with a new video and full HD projectors are becoming more and more popular especially in these times when we're quarantined. People are tending to watch more movies including myself. I tend to watch more movies in the day, watch movies with my family and a home projector is something that makes the experience more and more enjoyable. And since recently as you can see on the channel I've been receiving a lot of different projectors been through them all and today I think the like one of the top tier ones and the reason why I love this one so much is I'm just gonna tell you from now the image quality looks good it has amazing sound could be better but also the keystone that it has inside the projector is top tier you don't have to manually adjust the keystone you can do it in the software so that's one of the reason why this one is one of the best and also it just looks elegant but yeah, let's dive deeper into the review. If you're new to the channel, my name is Siobhan. I post tech videos. I'd appreciate if you guys subscribe, drop a like and share. I'm almost at 50K subscribers trying to get there. So yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so this is called the Vanco Performance V630 Full HD Projector. Now it has a number of excellent features that make it worth a look. And let's just start off with its normal native resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. So basically to put this in a number, like more practical way, it's excellent. It's a full HD image whenever you use the projector to play videos or games with also a 5000 by one contrast ratio. The pixel quality will be sharp and the image detail will be extreme. Now characters and backgrounds should look crispy and the colors should be fully dynamic no matter what kind of video content you watch or play. The colors are actually improved thanks to the high brightness power of the projector as well. Now it's measured at 6500 lumens. For those who do not know what lumens is or LUX, it's a way to measure the luminance of a square meter of space. Now the higher the number, the better it is illuminated and the more color you can achieve with a video projector like this one here. So yes, as you can see, a high rated looming is useful because it means that obviously the projector would look good in brighter ambient light condition. For instance, a weaker looming projector are best used for like dark rooms only. But when it's high, the projector is capable of projecting enough intensity that you could use during daylight hours. Now when it comes to the Vanco projector screen size, the V630 doesn't disappoint. It can project at a maximum screen size of 300 inches with a minimum screen size of 46 inches. Now, as you can see, there's plenty of versatility and flexibility with this projector. No matter the size of your screen, it should be able to provide you with ideal imagery within its borders. The projection distance is similar flexible. The V630 can work from distances between 5.15 feet and 30 0.18 feet to be exact now this gives a lot of wiggle room in one setting so if you're outside in a backyard or in your home theater in the living room in your bedroom you could definitely get a great movie viewing experience now other features and miscellaneous ease of use with this projector now this is the first budget projector i've seen with a good use of our advanced electronic keystone correction that i mentioned earlier in the video now this just means that you could adjust the keystone correction up to 45 degrees. Now keystone correction refers to the tendency for a projected screen to actually hit the wall at a slight angle. Now with this technology the VC stick can compensate for this. So basically if you have your projector seated like up here where I have mine and it's off balance you could literally just use the remote that it comes with and adjust the keystone to perfectly align it with the wall you could also use auto adjustability and that works as well now if you're wondering what comes with the projector you get a remote you get the power cord you also get a av cable so yeah you have a lot of different um attachment that comes with it also this projector can be hung up so if you want to put it into the ceiling or stuff like that you can go ahead and do that and of course you have on-screen keys for setting up different projection settings for front and back or upside down stuff like that so you can arrange it so yeah also it comes with a case which is a really nice carrying case so you could pack everything neatly if you want to go outside or bring it on a trip or something like that so if you don't want to use the remote and you just want to control all the system settings from the projector itself thanks to the row of simple buttons located at the top of the projector you can control 
the screen projection settings as I mentioned earlier or brightness and there's also a ring near the lens itself which can help you change the width of the screen and other elements as well. Next up we're going to talk about noise and cooling which is very important when it comes on to a home projector because you don't want it to be too noisy and you don't want it to get too hot. Now however many of the best movie projectors are quite loud thanks to the cooling system. How does the V60 measure up? Well it does quite well with an innovative cooling system that they use it effectively disappears the heat and the design of the projector allows the ambient heat to disperse and it just works in conjunction with the built-in fan now this is how the fans sound so if you guys want a sound test i'll play it and you can be the judge for yourselves okay guys now this is what my room sounds like nothing is on in the room right now pc is off Everything is basically off, projector is off. Now let me just go ahead and turn it on and then you could hear the fans. Then afterwards I'll play and then you get an audio test. Now the projector is on with basically just the fans no audio is running this is just strictly the fans now let's go ahead and play a sound test with the 5 watt speakers have you ever wondered how do people get ahead? How does someone like Elon Musk succeed where others have failed? We're often told that success is directly correlated with hard work. That we won't get anywhere without putting in okay, 10,000 hours or by working 100 okay, hour weeks. But what if that... What if those who succeeded think they had an unfair advantage over their competitors? And what if we find out that we've all got our own set of unfair advantages that we can use to succeed in our lives as well? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and to the... So as you can see guys, once the, the fans are on and it starts playing, the audio basically drowns out the fan. So that's when the fan noise isn't an issue. But when it just idle like this and you're not playing audio, the fan noise kind of gets annoying. But as I said before, you can be the judge of that. So by now you might be wondering, so Siobhan, you didn't really talk about how it looks. So what's the image quality like? Can he play games? How does it look with movies? And it looks good. The image quality is sharp. It's 1080p. I have no, like, no issues with it. The color accuracy is amazing. What you're moving on this thing is a joy. Playing games, you'll feel some sort of input lag. It's not meant for playing games, but it has so many ports. It has two HDMI ports. It has a VGA port. It has two USB um, input AV ports where you could connect audio and video cables and also a headphone jack and also a SD card slot and not a micro SD card slot which is amazing because who actually uses a micro SD card so you have a SD card slot for any any media so if you want to plug in your consoles your laptops your tablet anything that uses a HDMI port you could connect it to it in order to stream media I use a Google Chromecast you could use a fire stick anything that is streaming compatible you could plug it into here start streaming your shows and you will have fun i've literally watched tiger king on this thing no issues sharp and to be honest I'm, let me just tell you from now it's one of the best projectors i've used up there with the um the godi i think it's the godi y360 was a good one as well but this one is great the only issue i found with this one is it's not too loud you know the speakers could have been a little bit better but aside from that it's perfect also it goes for $200 basically 200 when you use the coupon code I'll try to hit them up and see if I could get a discount code for you guys but I have all the links down below in the description overall it's a capable projector at a bargain price it provides bright and clear contrast the images that looks great if I could put more sound and have a quieter cooling fan it would be near perfect in my opinion. Still, if you're trying to get a big image on a budget, 
the Vanco Performance V630 might be the best projector you could get for the price range. It goes for around $269, but as I said before, there's an available $40 coupon on Amazon, and I'll have all the links down below in the description. I also think there's a discount code for the website. Okay, sorry for interrupting you guys, but I asked Vanco for some discount codes and stuff, and they hooked your boy up with a discount code, which is $60 off your purchase. So if you use code Siobhan, code Siobhan at checkout, you'll get $60 off your purchase. I don't think this would work if you, um, you buy it from Amazon because I'm not sure if you could use the code on Amazon, but you could try. But I'll leave the links down below where you could directly get this from in order to get a huge discount of $60. So yeah, I know you're welcome. Your boy got your backs. But yeah, back to Chevy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said before, my name is Siobhan. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and drop a like and share the video if you want your friends and family to find out about a great projector. As always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.